name is Katrina and I work for ADAC, which is the Alcohol and Drug Abuse Council for the Concho Valley. And I'm specifically a part of the prevention team. And our job is to educate the community on the dangers of substance misuse, as well as educate on some possible coping strategies to deal with stress. So I know this is kind of a stressful time, so we just kind of wanted to send out some uh, videos on some uh, activities that you might be able to do with your family at home um, while you're kind of cooped up. Um, and so this is an activity that you can play with your uh, family just for some bonding. Um, I've played it with my friends for a while and it's just a fun way to bond. And so uh, we ask that you uh, obviously follow social distancing practices as CDC recommends and as our government recommends um, that you be practicing those and uh, washing your hands and all of those things uh, that are important. Um, yeah, so when we get started, this activity is called Spicy Uno. And so you play Spicy Uno the same way that you would normally play, um, you would, that you play Uno, except for there's additional rules. So um, for starters, just all house rules apply how you normally play Uno. So I'd recommend playing maybe one game of Uno. Um, if you don't, if you haven't played in a while, if you don't know how to play, because all of those rules will apply. Um, and usually any kind of dispute can be settled with rock, paper, scissors, best two out of three. Um, also make sure that you communicate that you guys are going to love each other after you play the game. I know we can all be a little bit competitive when it comes to games, so um, this is meant to bond, not to break families apart, so just keep that in mind. <laughs> um, the next thing is, uh, so for for Spicy Uno, you can play the, you can steal turns, as is one way to put it. So say somebody lays down a nine. So normally, um, uh, so the next person that's in line will, it can play either a yellow card or a nine. Um, but if somebody else has the exact same card, has to so say somebody plays a yellow nine, somebody else has a yellow nine, but it's not their turn, they can play out of turn and then they'll steal that turn and it'll skip the people that it was supposed to be and it go and it, it skips. So it, it would be as if you stole that turn and then you just keep going. So um, that's with any card, like it can be a blue skip. If somebody else has a blue stick skip, even if it's not their turn, they can play a green nine. Green, I don't know why I, don't know why I like nine so much, I guess. But uh, any card, if it's the exact same card, you can steal the turn. Uh, the next rule is if anybody plays a zero, um, any color, a zero, uh, they can trade hands with somebody else. They don't have to trade hands, but they have the option to trade their entire hand with somebody else. Not their real hand, but their cards. Yeah. Um, if anybody plays a four, everyone has to be silent. And for every word that is spoken, uh, you have to draw a card. Sometimes we'll cap this because people will like they get mad and they just want to keep drawing and then they're going to, you know, trade hands. So we try and cap it at about usually like 20 cards, so no more than 20 cards. Um, but yeah, you have to draw a card for every word that you say. Um, if anybody plays a six, everyone has to slap the table and the last person to slap the table has to draw two cards. And then any pluses, if it's a plus four, you can play a plus four on top of it. If it's a plus two, you can play a plus two on top of it. Um, and so you might end up having to draw several cards. Uh, and then uh, lastly, you could ask for help. So normally if you can't play, uh, you have to draw from the draw pile until you can play. Well, with Spicy Uno, at the, uh, you, at, at the beginning of your turn, you have the option to ask for help and receive help. If you decide not to ask for help or not to receive any kind of help, then you'll have to draw until you can play. Um, you cannot say, oh, never mind, I'm going to ask, I'm going to get that help now. You have to stick with what you decided. Um, and yeah, that's about it. So uh, there's different ways that you could play this. Of course, this is just the way that I've always played it. And it's been a lot of fun. Uh, normally, how tradition goes in in my friend groups or the family is the winner gets to sign gets to actually sign the card that they won with with the sharpie. So I obviously have a lot of cards signed. Um, yeah. So thank you so much for uh, watching, and uh, we hope that you guys enjoyed the videos and activities that we're sending out. Um, if you or anyone you know is uh, needs any kind of immediate help, I just wanted to let you know that we do have a crisis crisis hotline um, for anyone who is dealing with any kind of substance abuse uh, disorder and 
um, needs some help, our, cross, our crisis hotline um, is 1-800-880-9641. And um, we also have an offices here um, located in San Angelo. So if you uh, needed just some information about our services, you can call us at 325-224-3481. Thank you so much for watching.